we will be using this important lemma for proving all the algebraic properties and the lemma says that a uh, a n tends to a if and only if mod a n minus a tends to 0. Why are we saying so? Essentially when we are talking about that a n tends to a. So what we mean to say is that for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists in say an n naught belonging to the nat set of natural numbers such that mod of a n mod of a n minus a is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to this n naught ok. So that is the definition. Now everything remains same and I can combine a n and a and write a minus 0 out here. This will still be you know less than epsilon that is because I am just writing minus 0 ok I am just adding it. So, let us look at this term a n minus a minus 0. This term is always greater than or equal to the term a n minus a mod minus mod 0 whole modulus because of the property of modulus which says that x minus y mod is greater than or equal to whole mod mod x minus mod y that is a property of modulus ok. Now, so this means that this means that this term whole mod mod a n minus a minus 0 is less than the term a n minus a minus 0 mod which will be less than epsilon which is less than epsilon. So, this will be less than epsilon. Now, the, by the definition of convergence definition of convergence we know that what we are actually talking about is that mod a n minus a tends towards 0. This is the limit and this is the sequence that tends towards 0 and this is something that we will be using all throughout while proving our algebraic properties of sequences. Today let us talk about convergence and boundedness. Now by definition what do we mean by a bounded sequence? So any sequence a n any sequence a n n greater than or equal to 1 is called bounded if there exists an m such that mod of a n is less than or equal to this number m for all n greater than or equal to 1. So, what we are exactly trying to say is that a n lies between minus 1 and uh, minus m and m that is it has an upper bound also and a lower bound also in some sense ok. So, what exactly we are trying to say? We are trying to say that uh, you know a bounded sequence will be a sequence whose terms are contained in an interval. So, a bounded sequence will be a sequence whose terms are contained in an interval. So, it which might just look like this let me just depict it for you on a line. So, here is a sequence of real numbers. So, you have terms like a1, a2, so on and so forth, a n and moving on, on, on. What we are trying to say is that all these terms are inside a closed interval a, b, ok. And if that is happening then we can call it a a bounded sequence. So, a sequence is called bounded if the set if the set a n n greater than or equal to 1 of its terms is bounded. That is what it means. All these terms are creating a set of numbers ok. All these terms are creating a set of numbers real numbers. Now, 
if this set is bounded then you call this sequence to be bounded now there is a very close relationship between convergence and boundedness now what is that any convergent sequence is always bounded any convergent sequence is always bounded how let's try to prove it okay so let me just give you a brief proof of it so let us start off with a sequence a n our usual sequence such that limit as n tends to infinity of a n equals to some finite number n where a a, uh, a where a is a real number okay so what we are trying to say we are trying to say a n tends to a so what will that actually mean that will mean that if i have this real line and on this real line i create a sequence okay so i have terms like starting with a n a n plus 1 okay and these terms should be in the epsilon neighborhood of a that's what is the meaning of that's what is the meaning of convergence right so what's the meaning of convergence by convergence what we know we know that uh, for epsilon greater than 0 there exists a natural number capital n such that a a n belongs to neighborhood epsilon neighborhood of a for all n greater than or equal to this capital n and that's the definition of that's the definition of convergence right so let epsilon be given to us okay let this epsilon be given to us then what we mean to say all terms all terms starting starting with rank n right if you remember the definitions of convergence that we were talking about all terms starting with rank n will be in the will be in the epsilon neighborhood of a in the epsilon neighborhood of a so that means that a n a n plus 1 so on and so forth they all will be will belong to this set of neighborhood terms of a okay as depicted also so they represent this implies that they represent a bounded set a bounded set okay because all these are within a neighborhood set so that means these terms are all bounded right the, the set of these terms is bounded apart from that what are the other terms that are left the terms that are left are okay other terms so other terms that is your a1 a2 till a capital n minus 1 you can see that these are finite terms these are finite okay these are finite terms and therefore this set set of these terms will also be bounded because they are finite terms so they will be bounded right bounded above bounded below so that means that this sequence an so this sequence can be broken up into the set of terms a1 a2 to an minus 1 union with the terms a n a n plus 1 and so on and so forth okay so these are the two sets now this is a bounded set this is a bounded set so the union of these two bounded set will also be 
bounded okay so that means the sequence a n when it is convergent okay is bounded so convergent sequence all convergent sequence are bounded